Hello, this is Carrie again, and I have another video for you today. Today, I will be doing a review of the Derwent Graphitint uh, pencils. These are tinted water soluble graphite, uh, which is an interesting medium. And Derwent does have a does have like a you know they do have they do have a lot of really interesting and unique products um and to me this is probably one of the most um unique and the most interesting um of their uh, of their products so it's going to be a lot of fun doing this um so i'm going to do for this review the same way i do all my other reviews we're going to talk about some general info um then i'm going to show you some sketches that i made we're going to do some swatching and then in the end i will compare it to the other sort of water soluble pencils that i have um but there's really nothing quite like this but still it'll be interesting to see um you know to see the whole thing anyway so let's get started so i got this set from my amazon wish list this was purchased for me by maxine thank you so much for getting this for me um, in order to be able to do this review, which I really appreciate. And there'll be a link to my Amazon wish list down in the description below. Um, so let's get started. Now, my tin is a little dented because you can see um, this looks like Bella scratch marks. I was like trying to figure out how she did it. She definitely didn't bite into it, but I think these are her scratch marks clawing at. She does have a tendency to scratch at stuff. So I think that that's what causes, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so that's why my tin is dented. It's yours won't come this way, obviously. Um, so anyway, so the tin just gives you, Derwent doesn't really give you that much information in their packaging, which I, I wish they did, but they do tell you the colors that come in here. And you're going to see right away that these are very muted subdued colors um because it is graphite like a regular number two pencil that's water soluble which is already interesting enough and then they tinted it and gave it a little bit of color so it's like a water soluble tinted graphite um it just says tinted but it is it is water soluble and we're going to see that in a second um so that's what these are these come in sets of six twelve and 24 is the largest set and they do come also in open stock let me show you the um what the pencils themselves look like the pencils have um they're made in england by the derwent company and this is the graph uh the graphitant line um they have that brush to show you that it's water soluble the name of the color the number of the color um this gray line here i guess to indicate that it's graphite this is water soluble as well so i kind of expected there to be a blue line here but there wasn't um and then at the very tip is the colors um there went as i as you guys know um does not do the best job of uh indicating the differences in the color with the at the very bottom here and this is no different so just like all the other ones you will have to do a swatch uh for your um durant uh graphitint pencils um i strongly recommend that you have a swatch card for these um as i said these will be dark muted colors um let me show you these are the colors in this tin so these are the colors that are here um, the lines do do a really good job of dissolving really quickly um, when you when you apply water. And we're going to see that when we do the swatching. Um, hi, Bella. Okay, hi. Um, when we do the swatching of the, of the colors. Um, the other thing about this is that they layer really, really nicely. And you're going to see that when I do my... Um, when I show you guys my uh, my sketches, um, they are easier to lift with water than to erase with an eraser once you apply water. So if you want to erase it with an eraser, then the easiest thing for you to do is to um, do the erasing before you apply the water. Um, otherwise, you're going to have to you know try to lift the color out. Um, so there's that um, and um, they do blend and layer really really nicely so um, let me uh, without further ado show you some sketches um, I didn't do an entire coloring page with these because they are so different I don't know if I could have done a whole coloring page with these but what I did do is I did this sort of um, mini page with different colors and you can see that you can get some really bright interesting colors um, there is a thing though that I don't think these are as, um, the, the pigment part is not as lasting as I would like. So they do fade a little bit. So the best thing for you to do is if you make a piece and you really like it is to photograph it 
Um, definitely, if you're going to be selling your work with this, um, I would suggest to sell prints. Um, there is, uh, I think on the website, it does have some light fast ratings, but I found my, my, uh, my sketches, um, did show fading relatively quickly. So there's that. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, but that's just my experience. Yours, yours might vary. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to show you these are some, like some, a, a little bit of coloring. My panda looks like weird. But I do want to show you a little bit of um, coloring that I did. Um, next thing I want to show you is I want to show you some sketches that I did. Um, now these, uh, some of these you guys would have seen on um, on Instagram a while back. These were the original color swatches. So these are the original color swatches that I did. These are some whiskey stones that I sketched out. Um, and this was from when we went to Yosemite National Park and they gave us where when we ordered our um when we ordered dinner it came with these little tiny ketchup bottles um that I absolutely loved and so I sketched out the little tiny ketchup bottles um so this is my little sketch but I've seen people do amazing things with this um and you can see that you can definitely do some layering here let me show you the other one this one I did um last night and this is my toothpick case which i love you know sketching out my little toothpick container just because it's a really fast thing to sketch um and it's really easy to sketch but you can see here that there's a you know you can definitely um layer here and you can definitely you know do a lot of fun stuff so i did this with two layers of the black the other thing is and you see that here is that the black is not really a black black it's more of a really dark gray because it's a tinted like because it's uh graphite that's been tinted the colors are going to be you know darker but this i was surprised with the black i sort of expected that with the other colors with the reds and the blues um but i didn't expect the black to not really be a, a black black so that's something that um that you should look out for there's this really nice gray but i do wish that's the other thing for me personally is i wish i had the full set like I, I i really do wish i had a full set now i can make it work with just these 12 colors but i would suggest if you're going to be you know if you're into these and you're going to be getting them they are a little bit on the pricey side um i think the set of the set of six is like 17 dollars. the set of 12 i think it's like 30 something dollars and the set of 24 I was looking at last night um, was $47 on Amazon last night. So they're not inexpensive, but I think that they're a relatively good value because you can see, um, you know, how much I've done so far with them and how little I've used up the pencil. So um, that you don't really use them up all that much um, because you don't have to have it super pointy. Um, to do your drawings and you can you know you can lift a little bit of the color from the pencil itself you can save the shavings so i think these do last uh they do last a while or at least they have for me um in terms of how long they've lasted so um it is pricey but i think it's definitely worth it all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to do some swatching and you can see um how quickly and easily they dissolve Let's see if i can try to get a little closer here yeah. try to get a little closer okay so um, I'm going to do this with this, uh, my little um, Faber-Castell cup and my little Faber-Castell um, pen. Um, I like to dip the, I know it's a water brush, but I like to do that just so that I know that there's, that there's uh, plenty of water here. So you can see how quickly this dissolves and how far it dissolves. So you can see all of that. And you can see how far you can pull the color out. So there's that. Then this is the next color. This is like a like a purpley color. So you can see how much this this dissolves. Now because this is such an interesting medium, it's a little bit you know, it's a little bit weird because there's really nothing to compare this to. Um, whereas when I did the ink tents, you know, the Albert Durer, it's not exactly the same, but it's, you know, it's close enough. Whereas something like this, um, the only thing to compare it for is regular tinted, regular water soluble graphite that's not tinted. Um, but even that is, is different in a lot of ways. Um, 
And this paper that I'm using is 100% uh, cotton, which is a, the paper that I always use for my swatches on video, just because I want you guys to see the, you know, I, I want the product to really shine through. All right, so there's that. So I know my friend Laura is going to be like, why is she dipping the brush in water? Um, partly because I just want it to be clean really quickly. Um, and I want it to, I want the brush to be super wet when I do this. Um, you know, if I wasn't doing this on video, I wouldn't necessarily do that. But since I'm doing it on video and I want it to be, you know, I don't want to spend too much time brushing off the the pigment from the thing so i do it this way to do that um and to get that done you know really nice and quickly all right so then so you guys can see and you guys can use it like you can see how you can use it kind of like regular watercolor here you can slide it in um very similar to a watercolor and you can sort of get um wet on wet techniques using this um so let me show you this other one I do have a set of the Derwent, um, show you the, how well they dissolve. I do have a set of the, um, Derwent water brushes, but I just wanted to use this one. You can see this is a really nice brown. Now that's something that I've noticed about Derwent is I feel like throughout the lines that I have, um, I just personally am not that happy with the browns, but I like this this cocoa brown, um, which I actually have used a lot in the, the sketches that you guys saw. So this is a storm color. It's kind of like a purple gray color. You can see how much you can dissolve that color. Um, and it does, it is similar to, um, uh, it does um when once it dries uh it's not as vibrant as it is when you first put down the color which is something that is not uncommon um in the water media and water soluble media so it's not really it's not a fault it's just a a thing to keep in mind um that your colors may not be as vibrant like once it totally totally dries it may sort of um get a little bit more matte so that's something to a little bit less vibrant i want to say um but the other thing too that you can see is that once you apply once you apply water they do get much more vibrant than they are just with the just with the pencil before you apply water and you can move a lot of this pigment a lot of this uh tinted graphite here you can see all of this that you can move and how far you can go even this cool gray is really nice i use that cool gray for my shadows throughout the pages that i did so you can see here you can see the, the cool red the cool gray the ruby red which i did mix that i think i mixed that with um one of the grays um you can also see right here the cool gray again uh so there's that um so there's that uh so this is the not quite dry once it dries i'm gonna set this aside and then i'll be back um i'm gonna let this dry completely because i did use a lot of water for this just because i wanted to show you um how the how the pigment moves and since this is a little bit different than um most other things that we've done in the past i wanted to just use a lot of water and just to show you how that pigment moves out um so i'm going to let this dry completely and then i will be right back with um not necessarily a comparison but just just to show you what they look like with some other um kinds of water soluble media all right, so um, the swatching is basically dry. The the black might be still be a little wet. Oh yeah, it's a little wet. 
um, but for the most part the other colors are dry and um, I just want to show you guys that they do fade a little bit once they once they dry now part of it is because I did wash out the colors so much um, but part of it is that it, it does fade a little bit once once it's dry like after you wet it when you first wet it They sort of get their prime vibrancy and then once they dry they will dry a little bit less vibrant than when you first wet them But that's not that's not uncommon with water soluble media and water media. So that's not really that's not a fault um, but just just so you guys know when you're doing your um when you're doing your pages and you first see that um, but overall I mean you can see that the colors are one of the things that it really surprising is because it is tinted graphite and not um, a color pencil or ink even like the ink tints is that you can definitely see the difference in the colors even the different kinds of gray you can see that the tint does in fact affect the color and they do a really good job of tinting the color um, although as I said before the colors at the very bottom don't always do the best job of matching this and you can see this most of all with the grays you can something that's very typical of derwent i really wish they would do a better job of that um but that's not unexpected if you if you have anything else from um from the derwent any of their lines you you will know that um so anyway so there's that i want to show you guys the finished swatch but i also want to show you guys this is the the card that i make for all my um colored pencils you can see that you can lift it um you can see that you can also um do the layers you can also layer um and both of those things are really good to know um but overall you know they they layer really nicely but they also can lift if you need that um but overall you can see um once you don't wash it out you can see what dark dark tones you can get um versus once you get it a little bit more washed out um same throughout all the colors um, that you can see that throughout all the colors like once you don't um, Once you don't do that and these in between here are uh, blends between these two colors um, You can see that you can make you know, you can make color blends and then when you wash them out It looks like this is a its own color like you can't even tell that this is a, a blend of these two colors It almost looks like you're using um, this color, but in fact, this is a blend of these two colors So that's really good. Um and so in that sense, these perform really, really well. Let me do um, the, so I made this chart to be able to use this chart across um, the same products. And this section is gonna be relatively quick because this isn't really, um, these aren't really watercolor in the same way, but I'm only showing you this so that if you have these other products, you can see sort of how your, um, if you decide to purchase so the Derwent Graph Tint, you can see um, how they would be really different and how these really aren't, um, these really aren't watercolor in the same way. You can see that, especially compared to the Derwent, um, Graphitint, uh, to the Derwent watercolor. Um, these aren't, um, the, you know, as for whether or not they're cloudy, I think it sort of depends. Um, this is the Derwent Intense. I think it sort of depends on how you use them. Um, I did find that, um, there were certain circumstances where you can make a sort of a thicker color. Um, once again, if you, you know, if you mix them up with the, with the white, they will, they will do that. But if you can see that these aren't really intended to be vibrant pencils and you can see that really well, even though the colors are really nice, you can see that really well when you compare them to actual watercolor pencils that are intended to be more vibrant. Um, but overall, I really, really like these and I really, I, I, you know, I really wish I'd gotten the, the set of 24. I really like the set. I really, um, enjoyed what I was able to do with them in terms of colored pages, in terms of sketching. Um, I'm definitely going to take this out to do like urban sketching, uh, because these dissolve so quickly. And since these pencils are so soft, I don't know if I mentioned, um, earlier in the video, but these are really, really soft pencils in terms of how they lay down. Um, and because they are so soft, um, they work up really quickly and they deposit a lot of pigment really fast. So that's really good. Um, so overall, I really like these pencils. Um, I really enjoyed these. I'm a big fan of water soluble media in general, um, but I'm actually impressed by how much um, I like these. I, I, I must say that I honestly didn't think I would like these as much as I do. Um, and in fact, when I first got them, I was slightly disappointed by the fact that they weren't as vibrant as, you know, uh, as watercolor pencils, but that's, that's the kind of thing. They're not, 
watercolor pencils in the same way. These are really good pencils. Um, a little bit on the pricey side here in the U.S. I'm not sure what they cost in other regions, um, but in the U.S. they are a little bit on the pricey side. However, I think they're really fun and I think they're unique enough and fun enough that if you have the money and you're looking for something a little bit interesting and you want to do something, you know, you want to work with a slightly different medium, these are definitely the way to go. So overall, really love these across, you know, pretty much all the characteristics. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to enter the contest. There's still that giveaway going on for the Amazon gift card as well as that uh, coloring book. So there'll be a link up there to that gift card. Uh, don't forget um, to check out the links down below if you are a patron over on Patreon. Um, I'm super excited. In October, we're going to do our first uh, color along giveaway. Um, there will be a regular color along on Instagram, but the folks over on Patreon will be able to. Um, my favorite one will, you know, will win a, will win something um, over there on Patreon. So anyway, so um, I will see you guys later, and I hope you guys like this video. Bye.